Hello and welcome to Mexico News Network's Breaking News. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Elisa Carballo, and we have excellent information for you. Remember that Mexico News Network is your number one source for reliable information on business and investments in the Americas, stock markets and bonds, and also corporate information on Mexico. So browse through our web website on www.mexiconewsnetwork.com, our very own digital content platform. Now let's begin with today's main headlines. The year 2015 has represented an important growth for the major food manufacturers in Mexico. This is due to an increase of 14% in the number of investors, according to information from Bloomberg. All of this in contrast to the food industry companies in Latin America. Now, this year's decline of the peso against the dollar has actually been a very attractive situation for Mexican food exports. This fact has definitely been of major help for these large companies of the food industry to maintain their debt level and, on the other hand, increase the number of investors in the nation and overseas. Given that most of these companies export to the United States, the peso's decline provides those benefits because they obtain a larger sales margin. The gross margins of the largest food makers in Mexico actually obtained an average of 40% in the past quarter, in comparison to an average 24% for six counterparts in Brazil. From the four major Mexican food makers, Gruma Sab, the largest tortilla maker in the world, obtained returns for 32%. Meanwhile, Industrias Bachoco Sab, largest poultry producer, obtained returns for 24% and Grupo Herde Sab returned with 6.8%. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in other news, announced that in 2016 they will focus their efforts on strengthening their foreign policy with Latin America and the Caribbean. All of this with the purpose of moving forward toward a regional integration in the legal, economic and cooperation fields. As an example of the work carried out in the past months, the office emphasized the performance of Mexico in the Pacific Alliance, made up by Chile, Peru and Mexico, with 42 countries as observers, whereby the cooperation for the realization of concrete projects in different fields has definitely been encouraged. In 2015, Mexico was also the host for different forums and summits, like the 10th World Economic Forum in Latin America, held in the beautiful Riviera Maya, an event attended by representatives of 45 countries and over 750 businessmen and opinion leaders. President of Mexico Enrique Peña Nieto welcomed important Latin American leaders during their state visits, such as the President of Colombia, Juan Manuel Santos, the President of Brazil too, Dilma Rousseff, and the Cuban President, Raul Castro. In this year, Mexico also signed bilateral agreements with different countries, like the 12 agreements with Guatemala on fiscal, agriculture, tourism, and hydrocarbon issues. Mexico also assumed its position of the presidency pro tempore of the Regional Conference on Migration in which it is committed to promote dialogue and co-joint actions among the countries on the origin, transit, destination and return of migrants. Moving along to more information, during the month of November, the Mexican Senate actually allowed the incorporation of changes upon the transportation agreement between Mexico and Cuba, all of this with the objective of strengthening their relationship and extend the amount of airlines and flights between both nations. In order to boost tourism and investment in both nations, it took 82 votes in favor of the modification of the agreement, which will increase air connectivity given that any number of airlines may actually operate the agreed services on specified routes, as stated as such on the official communique of the Mexican Senate. As Mexico is the second largest air platform to Cuba, second to Canada, it's extremely important that the air connectivity is expanded between Mexico and Cuba because this will actually provide wider options for travelers, as well as promoting competition among the airlines, which will encourage them to provide better services at much better prices.
Because of the opening that Cuba lives, it's actually necessary to provide adequate air connectivity as a key tool in economic and social development for both nations, stated Senator Mariana Gomez del Campo Gursa, head of the Committee of Foreign Affairs Latin America and the Caribbean. This change is of great benefit for both nations. It will attract a wider tourist flow, generate an important economic benefit, boost the creation of jobs, and forge social welfare for both parties involved. Moving along to more, this year was a very important year for private transportation companies in Mexico. For example, Cabify, Uber or Easy Taxi managed to establish themselves as companies that ease the movement of people in various cities across Mexico. One company that actually saw 2015 as a key year for growth was Cabify, which saw a series of major events this year only. During the month of July, for instance, the government of Mexico City regulated private transportation companies in Mexico, becoming, with this act, the very first city in Latin America to do so. During the same month, the company opened Cabify Querétaro, thus being the second state in which the company operated as part of its national expansion campaign. In September, Cabify decided to lower its rates and therefore change its strategy to establish itself in the Mexican market as the most accessible alternative to private transportation by only charging per kilometer instead of by time. During that month, they also launched Cabify Access, the very first mobility service of private cars which actually seeks to support and transport people with disabilities or handicaps in the nation with the launch of 50 trucks and looking to triple this number in the year 2016. In the month of October, the company opened Cabify Monterrey Light. Cabify Querétaro Executive, which has luxury cars, and Cabi Fly, which actually offers a new travel experience, transporting people on aircrafts all across the main cities of Mexico in a matter of minutes. Helicopters and planes are used to shorten the time between one city and another with this new application. Now, in addition, flights can be made at a national level, all across Latin America and or even across the U.S. In the month of October, Cabify received worldwide funding for $12 million, a solid investment that they will use to expand their operations in 14 cities in which they already offer service in Chile, Peru, Spain, Colombia, and of course, Mexico. During 2016, Cabify actually plans to open more business in new cities in order to, of course, grow. Now, the gross domestic product in Mexico advanced 2.6% year-on-year in the third quarter of 2015, higher than a preliminary estimate of a 2.4% growth final figures showed. Now, this is the strongest expansion so far this year, bringing growth rate to the first nine months of the year to 2.5%. The industrial sector advanced 1.2% matching preliminary estimates and higher than 0.6% in the second quarter. The manufacturing sector, for instance, went up by 2.8%, construction actually increased also by 3.5%, and utilities all grew by 3.8%, while the mining sector unfortunately shrank to 5.6%. The service sector expanded to 3.3%, which is higher than an earlier estimate of 2.9% and 3.1% in the previous period. Internal trade increased by 4.8%. Real estate grew by 2.2%. Transport, warehousing and communication services actually advanced 4%. And last but not least, financial services and insurance went up by 1.7%. Agriculture expanded less than initially anticipated to 4.1% compared to this 4.6%, however, more than in the previous quarter, which was of 2.6%. On a quarterly basis, the gross domestic product in Mexico expanded to 0.8% in the third quarter of the year. Sadly, this was all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I am your host, Elisa Carvalho, and you were watching Breaking News by Mexico News Network, your number one source for reliable information and positive information on Mexico and the world. Browse through our website on www.mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information, and we'll see you next time.